Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Build. It's been a while so let's remind ourselves about what we have in our village. Of course we started with the windmill and then we made our way around to build the farmhouse, the fields and the water tower that supply water to those fields and all the animal pens and barn around it. We added in a couple of houses as well as a bakery. And of course, we can't forget our last addition, which was the sawmill connected up to the windmill that you see there. The build is coming on pretty well. We've got a very nice style, a kind of house style going, using the different types of wood, white wool, and using wheat to get the effect of a thatched roof, which I really like. And that's something I'm going to continue doing. But there's still a lot to do here, there's a lot of buildings I'd like to add before we can say this build is done. So I think the first one I'm going to add today is one that I took from an actual comment on one of the videos. And one of you gave me the idea that the village would need an alchemist sort of area where someone can help heal those who are injured or feeling ill in the village. That's exactly what we're going to do today. So first of all, I started off by building the house that the alchemist would live in, because they're going to need somewhere to live as well. I built up with wooden logs, and then wooden plank stairs to build a frame outline of what we were going to build. You can then see me filling in all these wall faces, with a similar but slightly altered version of our house style. And of course I go round the back, and do the same thing on that side. We carry on with the exact same style. I also add in a back door as well as the front door just to make it a little difference, put a bit of variation into one of the sides of this building so it's not all quite the same. The next step is to build up the roof of our um, building. Of course I had to go and remind myself quite exactly how I did it. And the way I do that, of course, is with dirt, and then we put some seeds down and we fertilise those with a bit of bone meal to give us the thatch roof effect. And thanks to the new version of Minecraft, it now takes a couple of bone meals to get it to grow. And we also get that nice green particle effect you can see, so that's something a bit different since the last time I filmed. I'd forgotten quite how monotonous it was putting on these roofs, but they really do look good and fit right into the style of our village, so it's something that's really worth putting in the effort to do. Finally, I go round the outside of the roof with the light wood in the stairs to give it a bit of an edge and to hide the dirt blocks that we need to put down the wheat. And I add up a little touch on the sides of the roof and fill in the gap with a bit of wool just to give us a nice effect and that is the house finished so the next step is to move on and to do the alchemist hut itself I wanted this to be a sort of tent area where people would come to be healed so I started off laying out a white wool roof but after I'd gone round the edge I decided that it looked a bit strange all in white wool so I added in some dark green wool to give it a bit of variation. I then laid down a light wood floor. And next it was time to go in and add a bit of decoration to this build. I added in a set of cauldrons in the centre that could be used to refill the water and to make all the potions and brews that would be used to help people. As well as the brewing stands I added just for a little bit of depth, make it look a bit more realistic. And finally, after a bit of decoration, the tent was done. So there we have it, guys. We've finished our building, the alchemist house, and the tent where people in this village can come to be healed. I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. I like the fact that the tent adds a bit of variation, making this whole build seem a bit more realistic because not every building is going to be the same. Although saying that, I am happy with how the house turned out, fitting in very well with the house style of this build, using the same sort of wall face, but with some slight variations, just to mix things up a bit. 
like the way that the roof is all one section instead of two different straight ones. So I'm happy with how that turned out. I think the build's coming along really great. There's still a few things I'd like to add. I think maybe a church or woodcutters because the wood logs from the sawmill will need to come from somewhere. And I think maybe some more houses as well as it is a village people will be living here. And then I think we might be close to finishing this project, add a bit of lore elements maybe, and that might be us done. Of course, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas about why I should build here. I'll be sure to read them, take them into consideration. And of course, if you enjoy the series, hit that like button. It's the only way I will know if people want me to make more episodes and continue doing it. So if you hit that like button, that's how I know. So, this has been Let's Build. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.